this tutorial, we're going to be discussing about flexi connectors. Flexi connector is basically a connector that you can connect two pipes together. So basically from your basin tap through to your tap in the wall. Okay, so this is what goes underneath your basin or even to your toilet onto your angle valve. So these pieces like to spring leaks and uh, you call a plumber, replace this flexi connector. They charge you anywhere between 750, 850, who knows. This flexi connector is uh, inexpensive. I think it's about 48 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. You get different types. This is a female, that's a female. Then you get the longer one, which is a female, and this is a six millimeter male. So what this six millimeter male is, is this is used on your kitchen mixers. So if you had a mixer like this on your, sorry, your basin, so that's your basin mixer. What happens is that flexi connector springs a leak at the bottom. Then you get a flexi connector like this at the hardware, depending what size you have. And all that you do is you screw it in there until you no longer see that black rubber basically. You don't have to tighten this at all with a shifting or a pliers or a spanner. You just tighten with your hand until it feels tight and you stop. That will prevent this from leaking over here and your job will be prepared, repaired. So that's pretty easy to change this. I'm going to show you exactly how to install it in the next video. Yeah, we can see we have a 15 millimeter male flexi connector. What this will be doing is, let's say you have a T-piece in the wall, this would screw onto the T-piece, obviously with your, your hemp, and then this would screw directly to your toilet. So there's a lot of male lines out there for different applications. Easiest way is if your flexi connect connector springs a leak, then take it out, go to the hardware, and get it replaced with what you've got. So I'm gonna just quickly show you how to install a flexi connector and how tight to tighten it. There's at times you don't even need a spanner to do this or shifting. All that you do is, let me get you a fitting quickly. Um, so let's just use this for example. So this is a Konex elbow without the nut. That's how it looks without the nut. These flexi connectors can work on Konex elbows. So all that you would do is you would tighten this flexi connector like that and you would just twist it with your hand. You would immediately feel if it's tight because if it's got any play there, it means you would have to tighten it. So as soon as there's no play, just with my hand, you don't even really need any tools to do this job unless it's really old fittings, but you can see there's no movement and that's how to install a flexi connector. It's the most easiest thing to do in plumbing. So go ahead and repair your own flexi connectors. I'll see you in the next module.